Libra, this is Logan with Golden Thread Tarot. This is going to be your monthly reading for the month of August. First, we're going to start by lighting this candle to set the intention for the energy coming through for August. She has been a little bit loud and crackly. It's like an interesting wick. So if she starts to get a little too fiery through the reading and I get distracted, then I'm gonna go ahead and blow her out but it's a nice intention to set in the beginning. We're also going to light the Palo Santo to cleanse the space. So it's just us and the message. If you're new here, welcome, hi, hello. And if you are a returning viewer, it's nice to see you. And I hope that you had a really nice July. Libra, so far I'm feeling like high priestess energy, ace of swords, two of swords, funny enough. The hanged man. like for a lot of you guys you're like actually able to relax this summer take it easy or winter wherever you are in the world all right libra if you feel calm go ahead and inhale and exhale we cleanse the space for Libra. All right, Libra, let's check your chakras. Libra, we're going to focus on your throat chakra for this reading, and this is how you're able to communicate to yourself and others, okay? So let's check an energy for your throat chakra for the month of August. Nine of Wands, and how to work with this energy. Oh, this might be hard for you to do. <laughs> is the King of Cups, okay. Sorry, love. <laughs> so with this judgment in reverse there are certain things about yourself where you're like why do I feel this way why do I feel this way why do I keep feeling this way okay this nine of wands energy is like you're 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 tired of saying the same thing over and over and over again okay nine of wands I'm tired of saying the same thing over and over again I've said it enough how many times do I have to say it? Okay. You're, you're, there's a damage here, right? With this nine of wands, this is like the wounded warrior energy. Okay. And this is us being able to communicate. Like we have so much built up in terms of how we've been feeling and it's more of a, a wounded energy, okay? There is more of a wounded energy here when it comes to the Nine of Wands, okay? So we've built up a lot of, of wounding that is trapped in our throat chakra, okay? So a way to work with this energy, which, is, which can be hard for you, right? Or could be hard for you is the King of Cups here. The king of cups is how we communicate our emotions, right? It's literally telling someone how we feel, okay? For those of you that haven't been saying the same thing over and over again, there's something that you've been holding on to for too long that you can't carry this weight anymore. 
it hurts too much to keep it in, okay? And a way for you to feel better is by actually communicating these feelings out loud, okay? It takes a lot for us to stay in control of our emotions, right? Especially regarding something that has been weighing on us, that has been bothering us for a long time, that has just been building up within ourselves, okay? The King of Cups can be more of an effusive energy. So if you've been holding back, especially your feelings for someone, right? On a romantic level, we're, we'll learn more about this, but I'm more so picking up that you've been shouldering a lot and you've become weakened somehow and you don't want to express your sense of, of weakened energy because that will make you feel vulnerable. But we're, we're coming into a place in society where being vulnerable is no longer looked at as a weakness. And if it's looked at as a weakness, then those people are still stuck in that old paradigm of like, be the strongest person in the room, don't let them see you, um, never let them see you sweat, right? We're just, we're so past that as a society, right? At least if you're in a certain area within the culture, but being able to express ourselves on an emotional level and express what our needs are is really important, Libra. And it's going to be really important for you in August because there's some things that judgment in reverse where you're like, I, I really need to get a grip on this. Okay. That's what I have for your chakra. Let's go ahead and actually pull three cards for the main energies that you will be experiencing for August is the Page of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune in Reverse, and the Ace of Wands. I'm going to go ahead and clarify all of these three cards at this time. Please clarify the Page of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune in Reverse, and the Ace of Wands in Reverse. The Hierophant, the Knight of Wands, the Three of Cups, and the Empress in Reverse. Okay. So there is some sort of fresh energy that you're looking to experience, okay? For some of you guys, you are looking for a new job. Ace of Pentacles can be new work, new partnership, okay? Just a fresh start. You're seeking a fresh start, okay? So now the Page of Cups is clarified by the Hierophant. This is not going to be for everybody, but for some of you guys, that emotion that you were holding onto is that you did want to experience a commitment with somebody okay there is someone that you find to be very attractive intelligent capable um irresistible for some of you guys okay and they exude an energy that you can't really escape from and you just want to tell them how you feel so badly okay if there's a spiritual essence to this definitely a spiritual connection coming through here. So if that has been something that you've been keeping inside of yourself, August would be a great time for you to tell someone how you feel. Of course, if they are in a relationship or if they are not available, it's extremely inappropriate to do that. Um, I don't condone infidelity of any kind. And I think it's, um, it, it's there's a high, there is no integrity. In that kind of situation right there just isn't and if you absolutely cannot hold back from doing that and you're not aware of how the person's feeling in their current relationship you're not going to rock the boat even if they're solid in their relationship and you say something to them you're not going to rock the boat they'll tell you that it's inappropriate they'll tell you that it's not the time for that they'll tell you that they're not interested so if you really feel like your person is involved with someone and you have to tell them how you feel, then go ahead and tell them, right? Life is short. We're here to experience being a human. And at best, we have 100 years to be alive, right? I know the mortality rate's going up to like 115, 125, I heard my dad say. So, you know, there is the reality that humans are living a little bit longer of course, that makes sense, right? Um, with evolution. But I digress completely. If there's someone that you cannot hold back from in terms of telling them how you feel, go ahead and tell them, right? And if you're 
if you saying something to them breaks up their relationship, then clearly the relationship was not strong to begin with, right? 1010. But yes, for a lot of you guys, you are expressing to someone that you 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 have to tell them how you feel. It hurts too much to not say something, okay? The Wheel of Fortune is clarified by the Knight of Wands. For some of you guys, intimacy has been lacking, okay? Intimacy has especially clarified by this Ace of Wands, right? You have a lot of sexual energy that's that's not, um, you're not sexually frustrated. You feel good about your sexuality and you feel good about where you put this energy, but you haven't had a lot of success when it comes to where you're actually going to put it. This doesn't cause you frustration, but you have been looking for opportunities for where you can express yourself sexually, okay? So for this group, there are a lot of folks that are, I'm going to say, um, single. If you're in a relationship, please try your best to translate that energy to a committed um, relationship, okay? So if you are in a partnership, you guys haven't been having um, intimacy a lot lately, you're really wanting that, right? But there hasn't been a lot of opportunity for that. Work schedules could be very busy, okay? It just maybe like a little bit of shake up and playfulness. So attention needs to be paid um, to you guys in terms of how you're actually expressing yourselves on an intimate level, okay? Um, yoga can be really good for this. Kundalini yoga, um, dancing can be good for this. Um, traveling to a new place can be great for that. Uh, massage can be really nice. Music, right? Just a night of music. Candle lit dinners are incredibly romantic. Bringing back the romance into your relationship, okay? That's so important. So important. Um, but if you are single, which I believe a lot of you guys are, there is an energy of just wanting the opportunity to show how passionate you are towards someone. That's really sitting with me. You have so much passion, full body goosebumps, but you have not had the opportunity to express that to someone, okay? The Ace of Wands is clarified by the Three of Cups and the Empress. So for a lot of you guys, you have been spending a lot of time with friends, okay? Which is great, but things are getting a little bit boring, okay? Things are getting a little bit boring. The sparks, you know, it's like we hang out, we do the same thing every time we see each other. The energy's the same, nothing's changing. The same old, same old. I'm picking up with this, okay? So, um you really could be seeking a feminine energy, right? Roles can be reversed, okay? So if you are the feminine here, you haven't been feeling like, you wanna feel like a, like a princess. You wanna feel like an empress, okay? And your friends have not been, your friends are great, okay? Your friends are great, they're very supportive but they don't make you feel the way that you feel when you're really in your empress energy, okay? Um, if you're the masculine, a feminine would do that to you. If you were the feminine, a masculine would do that to you. It unlocks a very particular vibration. If you are heterosexual, of course, if you're, you know, um, pansexual or, or bisexual, this changes the situation here, but uh, for the most part, in heterosexual energies, the unlocking of a masculine to feminine energy is a really particular kind of exchange. And when you're hanging out with a bunch of your feminine friends, they don't do that for you. And if you're hanging out with a lot of your masculine friends, they don't do that for you either. So yeah, let's learn more about this, okay? I want to keep using the mushroom tarot. I'm like so obsessed with the mushroom tarot these days. I love that it has like the gold edging here and the cardstock is so 
good. Like it rained the other day all over my cards and I would say 25% of my decks have a little bit of water damage and I'm really unhappy about that, but I was irresponsible and left them by a windowsill during a thunderstorm, so shame on me. But I find that like just good card stock is so important and a couple of the decks that have some water damage, I unfortunately feel less connected to them right now and uh, that's kind of upsetting. So it's just nothing comes up by accident in tarot and I haven't really talked about this much yet in my readings regarding the decks. So taking care of your belongings, right? Not leaving things out in places where you think that they will get damaged could be coming up for you for August, okay? If you forget to close that particular window, don't be surprised if something gets broken or don't be surprised if something gets rained on. Keeping your car windows up is going to be really important, okay? Don't forget to close your car windows Um, just basic maintenance like that, okay? What's the advice for Libra? Eight of Pentacles, Six of Wands, and the Tower. Spending a lot, yeah, Two of Swords I figured would come. So the Hermit, right? The Hermit, that was more so what I was picking up in the, in the beginning when I said Hanged Man. It's like this, this, I'm feeling very green. Green and white with you are colors that are coming through. Green and white. So white is a symbol of purity. Okay, white is a clean slate. Okay, white is just an all encompassing light energy that has this clear resonance of unobstructed purity, is what I would say. And now the color green is nature. So, how can you wipe your slate clean and embody more of a simplistic energy throughout your day? And your month and spend more time in nature. If you live in a city, I would recommend that you are near plants and flowers, okay? Go to a botanical garden if you're able to a couple times this month. Meditate in that botanical garden. Water would be nice, but clear water, okay? Clear water would be really good for you. No murky ponds or, some, or like a lake or something. You want to do the ocean, a crystal clear ocean, or preferably um, like a mountain stream would be really nice for you. Um, clear, crystal clear water. Crystal clear water. Wearing more white will help with this. Putting white sheets on your bed. White curtains in your house. Ooh, that's nice for me too. White curtains would be really good. Eating on white plates, right? Um, white utensils would be cool. White mugs. Anyway, I digress. More white being incorporated into your life that will help you feel less all over the place, right? As an air sign, you can be a little bit all over the place, right? Bouncing from thing to thing. And I don't want the color scheme in your home to be distracting for you. Simplifying the colors in your home, okay? And green, being in the forest, being in the mountains, being in the woods. Cloud gazing would be great too. Um, watching the clouds as they move through the sky would be a really nice meditation for you. The fluffy ones, right? Cum cumulus clouds, I believe. I always forget which clouds are which, but pretty sure it's cumulus clouds would be good for you to watch, okay? The hermit is Virgo energy. The hermit is someone who doesn't need to come off in any kind of way to anyone, right? They embody this wisdom that can only be found in solitude. Just because you're alone does not mean you are lonely. Solitude is so rich and abundant in itself. And people that can be truly alone with themselves are very powerful people. So spending a little bit of time alone this month in the woods, in nature, would be extremely beneficial to you. 
Now the Eight of Pentacles here is working on our craft, okay? We are busy putting energy into what we really enjoy, okay? This is like, like you know, the the person working on shoes. I forget what someone who who works on shoes are, but I'm picking that up for some reason. Just just someone who's so into their craft, whether you're a painter or you're a sculptor or you are someone that makes pottery, okay? You're really involved with your craft and the energy of you being in flow is where you're gonna find a lot of peace this month. Not by being around a lot of people, Libra, but by being completely immersed in your craft, okay? I love this for you. Now, the Six of Wands here in reverse talks about inward success that might not be showing itself off to other people, okay? So in what ways do you seek out external validation for various successes and accomplishments, okay? I want you to pay attention to that this month, okay? Pay attention to how much you desire external validation and how you can solely rely on inward validation. That is so important for us as humans to develop the skill of relying on ourselves for validation and really not relying on anybody else for that, okay? It's you and God, and you are not separate from God, so it's really just you, right? And your inner knowing, that hermit energy. I want to clarify the tower here because there could be a big shakeup here. Nine of Pentacles and the Hanged Man. So something that you've, you're, fin you're finally going to have a perspective shift. You're finally going to feel like you are capable of doing things by yourself, two, 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 two. You're capable of, 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 you don't feel like you have to surrender to life anymore, right? This Nine of Pentacles, Venus and Virgo, you feel so good about your ability to live your life the way that you want to live it, not relying on anybody else. It's, it's you and you're independent. You're capable of being independent. You're capable of not just rolling with the punches of life. You do that very well, but you're also extremely capable of if you want to make something happen, you make it happen. You go for it, okay? You don't have to sit and think and think and think and think and like just wait and wait. Patience is great. Patience is great. But sometimes it's that impatience that gets us to get up and go do something, right? It's it's that energy of like, I can't sit here anymore. I want to go do something. I want And you go do it right? This is great. You're going to have a totally different perspective on, on your ability to be independent, okay? The tower energy is a huge shakeup, a huge shakeup regarding your perspective on your independence, okay? This is great. Let's go ahead and see what archetype is going to help you this month. The Bardo. Mm. Now the Pilgrim in reverse came through here too, which implies that you're not going to first, you know, some people that just like have to travel, like I have to travel, I have to travel, I have to, I have to, I have to, like, I just had that travel itch, which is great, right? I mean, like who, who doesn't want to have that, right? I feel like humans you know, being nomadic from the beginning, naturally have this inclination to want to see new things and try new things and be in new places. But this month, you're going to feel like you can 
be a little bit more stationary and not have the anxiety that you get when you haven't traveled for a while. You're going to be going into yourself and you're going to be, when you're in this flow state, you're going to experience sensations that maybe you've been avoiding by spending time with friends and always being around people and resisting resisting your ability to be alone with yourself okay and you're coming to the realization this month that all of the people that that you wanted their validation okay all of these people all of these followers all of this appreciation all of this it doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean anything to you. You're having such a big realization that the only thing that matters is how you feel about yourself and the life that you've been living. And you're cutting off your need for external validation this month. You really are because look at this, right? These are a bunch of skulls watching this energy in the center which is you okay and you're thinking about all the people that you don't have in your life anymore the people whose opinions don't matter to you anymore the realization that it's just external valid external validation is essentially dead energy it's dead energy That's a, that's a, that's big, right? That's big. And, you know, there's something to say about friends and family knowing you really well and you wanting their input, but it's just not the same as when you know yourself, right? And I only take advice and consult from people that inspire me. If your life is not inspiring to me, I'm likely not going to listen to what you have to say. Not likely, I'm not gonna be listening to what you have to say. Um, don't, don't listen to people if you don't like their, how they're living their life. <laughs> it just doesn't make any sense. So let's go ahead and pull an animal spirit for you. What animal is going to assist Libra this month? So Libra, you have the snake here. This is more Kundalini energy coming through, right? You're shedding a particular skin. Unicorns coming through to say you're very different. You're very unique. You're reaching a point in your life where you know that you're very different and you see things differently from other people and you're not afraid to be unique and independent. Your differences no longer make you feel insecure and like you're an outsider or different. They make you feel unique and individual and independent, okay? Now, this snake is, is eating its own tail, okay? It's consuming its own tail. And for me, this symbolizes this, this infinite life that we have and the infinite lessons that we learn and the spiritual nature of life. And you're having just this, this, these lines are similar to these lines here. You see the, those lines in the one on the right and in the one on, or one on the left and one on the right. You're going to start feeding yourself, right? Right. With that snake eating its own tail, you're going to realize that you are your own source of vitality. You're not feeding off of other people, right? Because there's no meat on their bones anymore. They're dead. These are skulls. People outside of you cannot feed you anymore, Libra. You're feeding yourself, right? The nine of pentacles there too. You're feeding yourself. 
you're learning how to feed yourself. You're learning how to be your own source of vitality. This is huge. How beautiful. That spiritual essence doesn't come from anything outside of yourself. It's all within. It's from when you first are born to when you die, right? And beyond, and beyond, and beyond, and beyond. All right, let's go ahead and pull a plant spirit for you. It's a plant spirit for Libra. Finding grace and integration. So you're when you you're you're coming into a space where you're gonna feel very calm this month, okay? Starflower. Some call this plant by her more common name, borage, 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 but she prefers star flower. And wouldn't you? Yes. <laughs> her blue star-shaped petals shine among the garden's more usual yellows and pinks, shimmering yet understated like an old time movie starlet. Starflowers share a timeless philosophy with the legends of the silver screen, grace isn't something you keep for yourself, she tells us. Grace, Starflower knows, is a gift you give over and over again to the world around you. If you're thoughtful, caring, and true, grace develops a patina over time, becoming wisdom, the hermit, cradling those lucky enough to be in your presence. How can you let a little more grace into your life? Going fallow, once starflower graces our garden, it seems she's always there, but she's not a perennial. Each year, she lets herself go to seed so she can return in the year that follows. Like starflower, we all need time to go fallow, time when we're nothing but seeds of potential lying dormant in the earth, when nothing is expected from us and we have no task but simply being. Most of us have such busy lives that we have to schedule everything, even our downtime. Pull out your calendar and designate an hour a week as fallow time. It's this downtime that will allow you, like Starflower, to truly shine. Why put it in your calendar? This date with yourself is as important as picking up your sister from the airport or going to the dentist. When you schedule time to go fallow, you're making your self-care time as important as everything else in your week. Shine in the sharing. We all have gifts. Whether yours is being able to connect people with exactly whom they need to know, baking the perfect creme brulee, yes please, or understanding the tax code, these gifts are meant to be shared. You shine in the sharing. If you find yourself trivializing or unable to appreciate your unique gifts, Look to Starflower to find the gentle courage to shine. Are you gracing the world with your special skills? Remember, having faith means recognizing the value of what you are here to contribute to the world and allowing your actions to be grounded in that truth. Let's go ahead and pull one final card of the energy that we want you to embody more of from the Sacred Destiny Oracle. Trust. Mm. Trusting yourself, trusting life, trusting that you're making the right moves, releasing self-doubt, and each time you do something where you validate your own sense of self-trust, it's like something in your body becomes stronger. We become so close to ourselves. And that's where that sense of inner trust, like you just move, people move differently through the world when you they trust themselves. There's a surety that 
is it, you can just see it, right? Okay, Libra. I wish you much success in August and I will see you in September. Bye-bye.